Generals, gentlemen. Hello, folks. It's going to be Dev M twice in one night. How exciting. Just getting all of our attention. That's what happens when you're a big deal. Yeah, you know? when you're a big deal, you get attention of, of big deal people, I suppose. Big I mean, deal casters. First, it starts with General Gentleman casting your games. Yeah. Next thing you know, he's trying to buy a kebab and paparazzi are following down the street, taking photos. Tell us about your build order, Dev M. Have you been practicing for OCF? <laughs> Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. His opponent will be Von Ivan. We are going to be on Minx Pocket, a map which I think we haven't casted in at least a little while. Yeah, it's um, been a while. It's been a while since we cast a bit of Minx Pocket, so it should be a bit of fun to see what folks are doing on that. So Von Ivan will be our US forces. This time we'll be seeing Dev M as our Wehrmacht. Yep, Von Ivan also a very well-known player in the community. Indeed. Being a bit of a troll, he's a very, very funny streamer. Unacceptable. That, that's kind of his his, his line, his one-liner. Uh, he's also got the Armored Company locked in. Can be a good map for demo charges because it's very spread out. Mm. So you kind of force the Minesweepers to cover every awkward amount of territory. Early lock-in, are you expecting Assault Engies to come out early? Like a squad or something? Or any particular reason you'd see to lock in this early? Hmm... I mean, it's it's not the best map for Assault Engies yeah. because it's open, but the demos are great, so... Oh, okay, yeah. True. Maybe, like, not... Yeah. Is he going to go for okay. it now? Oh, wow, he's still capping that. Clearly out of the territory point. Relic, please, is, is the back of his no, heel inside? Split. He's hey! healed. Hey! No, wait, wait. no, hero heal. Maybe. No? I don't yeah, think he's... any part of nah. their bodies. Maybe their backsides. Yeah. At least stick a hand over it. Make it look like you're capping the points, Rifleman. Come on. Anyway, he's got his third rifleman coming out. So not going for his assault energy straight mm -hmm. away, which I think is a good choice. And other than that, it's just a good map for the Bulldozer Sherman. Yeah. For M10s. Yeah, I'm locking anyway. Armored so, Company yeah. is, is a solid choice. It's definitely, definitely. one of the top three. Mm. Actually, I think you have a lot of choice when it comes to US forces. Well, but... <laughs> no, you have two commanders okay. that are kind of crap. And that's Gonna the... run to the MG42 here as well. Really nice placement here from DevM. That was smart. I think he saw that the general cap order coming out from Von Ivan has a, had a fairly decent idea of where the riflemen were, so he sets up the MG over on that side. So actually, one thing with the US commanders is like they're pretty balanced. Like, yeah. Between like airborne elite riflemen, armored and infantry, like they're all actually pretty good. The other two then are pretty bad, but situational. I, I, I like running mechanized against OKW just for the the release jeep against the, the, the Cooper wagon in the early game can be quite powerful, and then you have. The, the Artie, which destroys uh, the bases, the trucks. And that's his RNG coming out now. First squad of those we've seen. So it's going to be the three riflemen into the Assault Engineers. Yep. So, DevM's done well, uh, having forced two retreats, but he will lose this engagement actually pretty hardcore. So now the Muni's point will fall as a result. If you can hold double Muni's as, as Vermont, you're going to have a great time because then you can just have a lot of LMGs, a lot of S mines, a lot of Tele mines. And this is a map where you can really benefit from having mines. Uh, for the same reason, you know, it's very open. A lot of places where you can mine. Yeah. And th there's some predictable retreat routes, which are basically the best friend of, of S mines. Uh, at the same time, you know, demos are, are, are very prominent if you can get enough munis for them. I'm going to flavor in those assault engines now as well. Yeah, they're now starting to have some trouble finding the, the nice engagements. Wants to try and keep a hold of that munis, obviously. As he flanks the Rifleman. Yes, he does. Well, finally, the, the, a really nice play there. He does like this. We, we saw this in the game we, we casted previously where he'll, he'll send in a squad kind of as a, just a duck your head around the corner, have a look, see what's going on, and then the flank gets set up uh, on the back of that. And he really doesn't get a lot of damage down on the on the peaking squad because they only take a couple of rifle shots. Yeah, this is going to actually lose his engagement here. He may force the retreat, but you have to retreat himself at the very least. Yeah, no, he survives anyway. The two Grins... Uh, too powerful. The assault engines are very, very squishy there. But the Rifleman on the flank has got the MG, but he's not continuing to chase it. He's going to get suppressed here. I think maybe he was hoping to just wipe the Grins. Mm. But, um, yeah, DevM's doing great on this map. And he actually has a lot of S-Mines. Oh, we killed a Rifle Squad. He oh. did. Wow. Yeah, it must have happened during that last engagement. Yeah, he got the Rifle Squad. I don't think he was ready for it. I mean, the signs are there. Don't walk here, there's yeah. a massive minefield. It's, it's just, you, you path it. You yeah, just go, you path it. Okay, I want to squat over there. Like, looks pretty safe. Rifleman, cap back. this point. Mm. And then, like, you hear the first S-mine. And then you hear... You move <laughs> the camera. Yeah. 
the second S mine, <laughs> and then you retreat, and they retreat through a third S mine, mine, and then you lose the, the squad. entire squad. Yeah. So like, yes, there's there's flags, but if you're not watching, if you're microing somewhere else, you you really have a very little time to actually react before you just lose the squad. Truth. Um, it's pretty, really punishing indeed. Oh, he's gonna be careful. Okay, yeah, nice. Gets the retreat out. Can't lose that rear echelon squad because he got the sweeper. Uh, he needs that to clear the, the mines. So, yep. couldn't couldn't lose that squad. Would have been pretty dangerous. You know what the best thing about assault engineers are? They start with wire cutters. Hey. Like, I, I wish <laughs> every engineer squad came with wire cutters. Like, that would just be fantastic. It would be great. They obviously can't get sweepers, though. Whereas, like, sweepers come yeah, with yeah. the wire cutters. Yeah. Really nice map control at the moment from DevM. He's all over the place. The this middle is, VP, getting the second munis point back again. Nice flank, though, but he does actually walk into the arc. Uh, but it will be forced set up before getting any suppression yeah. down. The captain, pretty powerful at close range with that Thompson. Oh, had the LMG pop coming down one of those Grenadier squads as well, but DevM doesn't get it out just in time. The squad's actually retreating when the, the upgrade goes down, so... Yeah, and there's going to be a Stuart following up pretty soon. And... No... Oh, Pat coming out now. Yeah. It's a very open map, so the, the Stuart's going to have a pretty good time. Unless there's some telemines lying about, which I don't think there is. Nothing yet, no. So he has got a, a few minis in the bank, so it looks like he might have wanted to put one down, because he hasn't gone for another LMG yet. Hasn't even got his his medics getting the S mines yeah. instead, which did pay off. Definitely, we're getting that rifle squad. Oh, definitely, yeah. Territory gain, squad down. Got to be happy about that. Does lose his fuel though, for at least for a little bit until he manages to push out again. So, yeah, this is a pretty big cap actually, having to retreat on force, and this the map control is going to be even less. Stone Edge is moving on the right hand side now. Looks like they just want that strap point. A lot of capping coming out here from Von Ivan. Yep. Stuart, almost finished. It's a very long build time. It is. We've been waiting for it for, for quite some time. So, a lot of Faust here. Four Grenadier squads. Predictive pack, really nice from Dev M. It was, good, it was good timing in the pack for sure. Saw the captain immediately goes, okay, yep, we're, we're gonna, need a, gonna need a pack coming out. MG's gonna be setting up now as well, though. So, the captain... Nice. Gets the point cap, nice. And does actually dodge. Back to the side there. So Pax going to be setting up towards the middle. We'll have to see how Devin decides to play this, how aggressive he actually goes, because previously, I mean, he had three quarters of the map. Did he go for kind of half of it? How much ground can the pack cover, really? Like how, how much impact do you think this Stuart will have? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. LMG Grand's going to be shredding up the rifleman. Oh, this is deadly. See, Devin really wasn't winning a lot of these in games. The rifleman kept running up to them, and now he's got the LMG. He has a flamer, damage. though, as well. This could end very badly, actually. It could. He might actually get the wipe. Will the last burst hit? No. Nope. No, just out of range. Okay, fantastic. Stuart now going to start to have some impact. Pack gets one shot off, though, so the Stuart's going to be careful where the retreat path actually comes from, but will it get the wipe? Yeah. Yes, he does. Really nice. That Stuart's was... aren't always guaranteed to wipe on retreat like that. No, but this is actually a pretty bad retreat mm. point for him. He should go around the, around the back. Yeah, really nice. He's actually got squads there. He has vision on a lot of the area, so he knows he's safe to go along the road and avoid a Faust. That pack shot was actually... It could have been could have been deadly for the Stuart because it, it took it low enough. It took it within the threshold where the, the, uh, the Panzerfaust actually would have got a, a damaged engine. Yeah, and, and the Panzerfaust was going to actually connect. He it couldn't would, really dodge yeah. that way. So smart play of Von Ivan goes the long way around. Getting his ambulance now for his wounded squads. And all of a sudden, the map is pretty much blue. He got the Stuart, you know, just as he already pushed out. So, translating into map control pretty pretty quickly. Got a squad wipe. So, trades one back for the Rifleman squad that he lost earlier on those S mines. Nice! Nice try! Devim actually mo started moving that pack a long time ago, predicting the Stuart to move that way. He wouldn't have got the, the kill anyway, but it, it was cool to see him move the pack that early and know where the Stuart was actually going to retreat through. Yeah. He did fire an extra shot, but he, he missed it with missed the pack. It, yeah. So, could have got it if, if that one connected and he, mm. he caught up a little bit earlier. And the but base MG actually did some damage as well. I don't know if it really penetrates it though. I mean, it did though. I mean, it saw. I saw it take damage. I'm not sure what okay. else it would have taken damage. It from, must be so rare armor. Then. I'm assuming it was. Yeah, I think it was rare armor um, shots from the MG. Yeah, th this squad. This is the reason why the ambulance exists. Yeah. Nice. It was good timing as well. I mean, you, 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 oftentimes you can see US players go for the ambulance a little bit early. 
uh, when they don't quite have as much uh, infantry out in the field as they could have. Uh, whereas Von Ivan's gone for it just as his troops are retreating and they actually really, really need the ambulance because they're below three quarters health. So I definitely like the timing um, for that ambulance. Yeah, let's see what DevM goes for. He needs to have an answer to the Stuart. And his options are either a Puma or a, a Stool G. He, he almost has the feel for the Stool G. He needs a little bit more, though. He'll be forcing out the retreats as well. Actually, he forced off three squads what? with one rifleman. <laughs> nice. He's forced off, yeah, three squads and a pack with one rifleman squad and just really nice play. He forced the the retreat there from Devim. He wouldn't have been able to move the squad to dodge the grenade in time. He had to retreat from that one. So, retains a bit of map pressure here. Really, really good play from just one Wireframe squad. Good micro. Yeah, he may even go Stug E, but he's, he's two command points away from it. Hyos could even get chased down here. They're actually pretty deep. What's the Stug E lo uh, like against the, uh, the Stuart? It'll deal. deal? No. It'll, it'll penetrate enough. Um... Not going for the chase, Does doesn't actually know what's there. Could be a pack lying and waiting for him, for all he knows. Um, the still gear, yeah, it's pretty good. It has a lot of health, so it takes a long time to kill it. A good choice, especially if you have, you know, Grins and a pack nearby for support. But it will be the Puma from the looks of things coming out for Devin. Yeah. A lot of access to the, the new and improved command tank as well. Yeah. Which is getting nerfed. It's getting moved up to nine command is, points yes. in the next patch. It's probably a good change. We haven't seen a lot of it so far in our cast. We haven't casted a lot of the uh, the new command tank yet, but uh, I've seen it's pretty good. I've seen a lot seen. of it in in games. You People have, have played yeah, it of course quite you frequently. played. Yeah, yeah. It's also just because the Puma is so important. Squad of Pegrins is going to be interesting. Map like Minx. We'll find those rear echelon though. Uh, did they manage to clear out all of the S mines on that munitions point? I think they did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they all got cleared away. Rifleman squad might actually go down here. Survives for now. We haven't really seen a lot of the Stuart lately. Been playing pretty carefully since the uh, the pack came out on the field. Yeah, that's true. We would like to see maybe a little bit more impact. Pretty important to start getting that better up. And you know, we now see that the Puma on the field is going to be even harder, harder to use. The Stuart. Ouch. Could lose this one for sure. Yeah, for sure. Nope, oh, there there, it goes. there we go. Now the rifleman squad does fall for Von Ivan. He's going to rebuild that one. I think that's a, a good idea. He only has two rifleman squads. Really needs a bit more in terms of infantry. And if you if you get it now, you start beating it up, and then it's which is quite important for late game. For Devem, what's he been putting the munis on? Really, has he has he got S mines down anywhere? I mean, we, we have seen a couple of rifle nates, uh, but it seems like he should have more munis than he does. He only has one LMG. Well, he did lose a squad of squad LMGs. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. Medic bunker finally went down. Mm, true. Yeah. We'll have to keep an eye out anyway. Also, that demo in the middle. But when you have an assault engineer squad next to a VP on its own, you can kind of just fish it out sometimes. So thumb, thumbs up. And looks like one of them went for bars on his echelon, which is great to see. And it looks like at this stage, Von Ivan isn't going to bother teching. He'll probably just go for the, the M10 and the Bulldozer call-ins. We'll have to see where the bars actually go. We've seen a lot of uh, US Forces players prioritize a lot of flamers on those rif on the Rifleman squads. But on a map like Minx Pocket, we'll have to see if he maybe decides to go for bars instead to up there or damage output. Well, and he's, he's uh, assault. Of course, he's assault, assault engineers. He doesn't actually have company. any. He doesn't have um, yeah. flamers available, Rifleman flamers. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the, the bars compare to... How we've seen yeah. rifle flamers go so far. It, it's so common for US to just spam rifle flamers that you kind of forget. Yeah, that it's, it's they're command actually, specific. Yeah. I've seen so much. Uh, I, I've seen way too much um, rifle. Yeah. Uh, the the commander is, is elite rifleman. I've seen way yeah. too much elite rifleman. And you just kind of forget that it's just not a thing they can build all the time. Like so. I'm kind of glad that they're nerfing <laughs> the flamers because it was kind of stupid seeing like just that many flamers being spammed out. On, on the rifleman. So using the puma and the uh -oh. back together. Uh oh, he's setting up literally on it. Is it is it in vision? Can you do that? Is it in vision from the 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 point? No, this is this is uh, Von's vision. Okay, this is yeah. all he can see. Yeah. So he may. I mean, like, you, know, you know how you get the vision from like capping a point. Like, yeah, but the, that oh, that was the, what we saw. There yeah, we go. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Surprising that this model died. Yeah, it was, it was pretty quite far away. away. 
Most of the smoke as well. I don't know if he wants the cap here. It would be pretty dangerous. I don't think he realizes how much stuff is there. Yeah, there's a few squads flanking around the side as well. I think there, it's going to be important who actually wins this engagement. Because whoever wins the engagement gets the MG. And it looks like it's probably going to be uh, Dev M. Yeah, the captain moving in. MG captured. Thompson up. Close range. Oh, the rifleman squad survives. That was really good play. The captain actually drew the fire then. So the rifleman squad could run in, run in through cover of smoke and cap the MG. That was well played by Von Ivan. Yeah, now he's got an MG. What did he lose, though? I'm not sure what went down. I have no idea. It must have been a rifle squad that went down. Yeah. Oh, this captain is going to probably get taken out here. He's a little bit too deep. There's a war incoming as well. Yep. There's the M10 on its way. Captain survives this uh, one. Pies are repairing. I don't know if it'll get, it's going to be in time, though. Stewart's going back in. He's going to take the first yeah, Puma shot. Yeah, get the stun it's as gone, well. It's gone. Puma's got to be gone here. Main gun destroyed. Last shot from the M10. Oh, Stewart dies as well. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, the pack. The rifleman didn't wipe it in time. Didn't throw the nade in time, but it does get the pack out of that one. So, I mean, it might even be a good trade there. <laughs> Definitely a good trade. Yeah, he, he gets the pack out of it and he, he gets rid of the Stewart, which is always a plus, but yeah. yeah. And so now yeah. with the, the pack down, the M10 has free reign over this P4 command tank. M10 should be easily able to deal, deal with this command tank. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You need to have pack support and he doesn't... The P Grens, though, looking to wipe the pack. It's pretty far away, though, but the Grens oh, getting a perfect ambush path. Yeah, that pack's gonna go down for sure with the LMG there. Pack, please. Nah, the LMG's gone. turning. The LMG's. Ah, oh, okay, guys. The LMG was was doing the uh, the old Obelso button turn <laughs> aim, where yeah. he picks up the LMG and keeps moving it around and can't actually get a shot off. The PTRS dance. Yeah, the PTRS dance. Well put. Uh, he's capping it with his P-Grens. He could even get Fausted here. He's already taken a shot. Wow, he does. He he, he actually drove over the Gren. So, normally, I don't think you can Faust an M10, but he, got, he took a command tank shot earlier, taking it down just a little bit beneath the threshold. Ultimately, though, the pack's been captured back, which is very important for Dev M. Having that back in his own hands now will give him a bit of freedom against the M10. Pretty huge deal there. These troops are now going to have the command tank bonus as well. This is going to be a hard fight for Von Ivan. Yeah, only one LMG. And the command tank... Anti-infantry is pretty decent it it when it hits. I mean, it's, it's all right. Much. Yeah, it's missing a lot at the moment. Yeah, Devon was trying to stop move it, but that wasn't really working. Grand's gonna get forced off here. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Wow, Von Ivan is going deep. He wants to get that pack decrewed again. Engineer is not having the the luck with the flamer crits. Captain gets another bazooka shot off. Gotta be careful, you can actually lose this to a lucky P4 shot. Yeah, the command tank could easily wipe that. I don't know why he's still here. It's getting it low, uh, but but uh, what was the follow up there? The MG's getting some suppression off M10, just now finally now. being repaired. It, it will keep the P4 away for a while, his, his Pyos are only on two models. Unless he potentially goes around for a flank. I don't know if that's what he's looking for, he's looking to kill it while it's getting repaired. Well, he's gonna get. No, no, no Fine, munitions. There's no uh, munitions. Packs. packs there. Nice try. Yeah. Takes the one pack shot, realizes he's been in that threshold and backs off. He doesn't know that uh, Devm doesn't have any munitions for the Faust, so. Ends up. Uh, I mean, I guess losing the engagement. The command tank's going to have to be repaired, but he didn't really gain anything out of it. The VP is still going to be capped in favor of Devm. Yep. And it can be a bit tricky if you get stuck on this, this no call in build. For Vermark, because you just don't have the good late game with only the command tank and M10s. He has actually gone for his tier 2, but what he really wants is a panther, because the bulldozers are going to be coming up pretty soon. And he's going to need some very hard hitting AT for that bulldozer. Still some time off that though. So we're going to have to escalate to tier 3 and then the tier building up because even if he builds a regular p4 the m10 is already going to be there yeah. and it, it's it's about one already so it's got a heat map it does get some pretty nice veterancy and it vets up pretty quickly so really having to rely on this pack if he does go for a p4 the range of that command tank bonus is actually pretty nice yeah it's pretty big it's pretty big yeah it's, it's this is it here. that's that's the range there yeah it's, it's fairly decent but you can still repair the uh the command tank in the back lines and give your troops holding the front lines a bonus which is mm. which is good so rifle nade the squad was very spread out there was no chance for a wipe there 
I think it's 45 range, I just remembered from memory. Okay. 45, I think, is the, is the range of the command tank. Just remember what it was from the patch range. Before. Right. For comparison, a Jackson is, is 60 range, yeah. or a SU-85 or whatever. Tank destroyer is. A sniper? Wow. Okay. So, I mean, he was having some issues with the 50 cal, I suppose. And doesn't want to blow a lot of munitions on rifle nades. So, I kind of get that. It's another <laughs> rifle nade, though. I think he does want to blow me. Yeah, he nice. needs to stop doing that. Uh, he has three LMGs, to be fair. Devon does have three LMGs now. It's not like he's, he's sacrificing LMGs to, to throw random rifle nades out and try and get some territory, so... Yeah, well, the sniper's going to be good. If you leave it in the middle, you can't really flank it in the middle. And Plus, he doesn't have to rotate. He just, you know, leave an LMG here, or HMG on the side, and the sniper's... It's only risky when you when you rotate to the different sides of the map, but if you just leave in the middle, then it's, it's pretty safe. And it's very hard to kill. The only real option would be a bulldozer one-shotting it, which definitely can happen. So, even more incentive for Von Ivan to go for this one. M10 has found the command tank. That is a shot. Pack's moving up. If he popped the heave app, he may have got the kill. But, but now oh, he popped heave app now. A little bit late, but the captain's here. Should be able to get this kill. Uh, the M10's pushing the captain away, so he didn't fire. No. The, 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 the side of the pack forcing the M10 away, unfortunately. It was in a good position, though, as well. Uh, he had the M10, so the, the cliff was actually shot blocking at a really, really big angle. It's, it was going to be really difficult for the pack to actually walk over and start firing at the M10, so he had to hold his position and just wait. Looking for the Faust? Or just maybe decrew. Maybe just decrew. Yes, get this one. Oh. Yeah. If, if you lose two, two models, models, which will happen very quickly, you, you won't be able to recruit it. Pushes for the Faust. Oh. oh, the push! Nice. The plays! Does he lose the Gren squad? That would be awesome. It was a nice one as well, yeah. because he was within the Faust damage engine threshold, and I don't know what happened to the... Oh, the pack backed away, so he was... He was actually safe, but it didn't look like that one. It was still a good play. To him, at least. Uh, went for a sniper flank, but the sniper crept away. If he snipes this... Uh, oh, he, oh, he doesn't know. The vehicle crew, yeah. But he gets it anyway. The rifleman could have always run over and uh, grabbed the intern anyway, so wouldn't have been a big deal. Not if they have two models. Ah, true. Yes. <laughs> the sniper did grab one of those, to be fair, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is quite deep. Fast me, bro. Fast me. Yeah, it's there's, one. There's though. a lot of squads, though. Yeah. It is the one thing about the M10s that's kind of stupid is that you have a tank destroyer that instantly forces retreats on infantry squads. Mm -hmm. It's kind of stupid, and it's the, the exact same thing happened in Co. One. Like, you you would use a tank destroyer to crush infantry. It was just ridiculous. Um, it really shouldn't have that potential to, to crush squads, and at least not that effectively. Second M10 going to be out on the field now for Von Ivan. Going to be happy about that. Yeah, rather than a bulldozer. Mm. Has decided to go for second one of those. Yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, interesting choice. I mean, I don't know what he expects uh, Devon to go for, unless he d he just wants to kill the command tank, in which case, you know, the second M10 is nice because you can use two of them to chase down. It's going to be hard to fail both of them and get enough damage down, so... Yeah. I, I think if he, he just wants to clear the command tank and hold the middle, that could be nice. He must expect a, a panther, mm. uh, and we do have the, the tier 4 from Devon, so that's actually a pretty smart choice. Um, two M10s can deal with a panther, one certainly cannot. Also ha timing. has the captain, which will definitely help things out. Another... Oh, wait. Okay. I, I thought I it was another... third M10 coming out. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it, it was it was available. Yeah. It's when the yeah. M10 was off cooldown. Uh, is he going to try and decrew the pack? Oh, no. He just was repairing it. Nothing much more happening there. So, I guess Dev M just waiting for that panther. Mm, at this point. The Vet 2 is doing well. It is quite low on health. Maybe one rifle grenade away from dying. It's been hit quite a few times by these rifle grenades. Command tank play's been really aggressive so far. Actually flanks the pack as well. Yeah, that's another M10. He got oh, a double Oh, wow. Flank. The fast goes off on one of them. Really nice movement from the command tank as well. It's going to avoid one of the M10s. It's still going to go down, but... Oh, it took another pack shot, though. Will it get out of range? It will. Yep. Barely getting away. Okay, well played. I think that was well played from both of our players there. Uh, Von I, uh, if if Devm actually duked down, he would have run over the second M10, would have lost it. Yeah, going 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 back down again was probably the the best choice that he could have made. M10 
Oh, Puma. He can actually wow. kill this one. Definitely it, rear armor. It wasn't re reverse moving. If the gun was facing it, he probably would have been fine because it was Vet 2, but now he doesn't have a chance. He's going to actually uh, outstrafe the gun, so... Well played. Smart choice, because that was a Vet 2 M10, so that's pretty important. And he's looking for the other one as well. Once Go again, for it. he's facing the wrong way, but the, the next M10's on the way, so he has to be careful. Rotating it, good choice. I don't know if one shot will kill it, though. We'll, we'll see. M10 both here. Oh, he missed the yeah, shot. Yeah, missed it. He's gonna Puma's kill this, this the Puma. No problems at all. But the M10 oh, falls as well. The same time. There's a smoke. There's a smoke. He's gonna attack around really it. Well He's on the road. It's a long. It's a big attack oh, round. Oh, he missed. Oh no. This is the shot. Hero Puma here for DevM cleans up two of the M10s and it comes out as a pretty advantageous trade. The M10's going deep after it though. He's not happy. He wants to recover this one for his fallen brethren. Oh. The, the pack's gonna set up. Oh wow. Goes out of control. Gets one shot off though. Pack gets a shot. Is there any follow-up AT? I don't think there is. There's no Shreks on the... Yep. Not nothing here. That was very, very good play from, from DevM. Got two M10s with a single Puma. Definitely worth it. And that's the tier 4 building. So he's, his Panther's going to be coming up pretty soon. I mean, there's only one M10. So if he's feeling ballsy, he could actually go for like another pack and then a Broomba. That'd be cool. I, I, but I don't think we're going to see him do that. Not everyone loves the Broombar as much as myself, which is, makes me sad because I love that unit. It's great. It's like M10s aren't exactly expensive fuel-wise. He knows that Von Ivan can probably just pump out a few more if he needs to. Nice. Pack one down. <laughs> he almost uh, got the other demo, but not yeah. quite within, within range. There's heavy cover here, so he should be fine with his assault friends, assault engies. But there's also two squads of Grins and a Sniper, so perhaps not. Well, that's a nice retreat path, though. He might survive this one. Sniper missed that last shot. Could have killed that one. Trying to bait the... Yeah. Yeah, the Grins are gone. Goodbye, Panther. Oh! oh big Grins, please! Just getting away from it. Nice flank on the Sniper, but he gets away. You need, like, three squads to kill Snipers. At least. Because they're crazy. Three squads, a bit of artillery, a couple of grenades. And Aaron Jesus, of course. <laughs> and the strafing room. Yeah, Sniper does survive. Interesting to see how many kills that one's actually managed to get. It's been playing pretty passively. DevM's just had it in the middle, sitting away, sniping a few units. Has hit Veteran C1 now. Has just retreated to where we're able to check. See how many kills. 10 kills. Not bad, I suppose. He has had it for a while, though. 265 fuel here for, for Von Ivan. Do you think he wants a bulldozer at some point or wants to get the M10 cam up a bit more first? No rifle nade. Hey! Oh, no. didn't, didn't damage the gun, actually. Do you know how much... Pea grenade? Pea grenade! Uh... Bundle! Bundle him! No. Gets pinned. Gets pinned. Yeah. Do you know how much manpower 10 riflemen shots are? 10 riflemen kills on the sniper? No. 280. There you 28 go. 28 okay. for riflemen. Even more for Captain. Thank you that bit of knowledge there, Shane. Unless it was an echelon, then it's a lot less, but... Yeah. Rifleman are very, very expensive to reinforce. Which is why the sniper is so great against only a five-man squad. I see. So, another M10. And what Ivan just can't get these bulldozers. Having lost the two M10s, he, he needs to have a, a certain threshold of AT. Otherwise, bulldozer could just backfire. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. It, yeah, I was going to say, is it tasty enough to blow up the demo for them? And I think so. Like, getting, getting a squad wipe is great. So, that's why you... the minesweeper as well and repairs. Yeah, you shouldn't actually sweep the demos. You can just shoot them. Even with pioneers, you just shoot them and they'll blow up eventually. This is maybe not the best choice here. Nope. Definitely not. Was it looking to crush the sniper? I have no idea what happened there. That what? what? That's a bounce. Panzerfaust will bring you, you dishonor. dishonor. Yeah, that Panzerfaust. I think it. I think, I it, think missed. it missed. Did it miss? It must have missed. Do yeah. they bounce? Uh, no. Because even if it like, yeah. even if it bounces, it still does damage. Damage engine. engine. Yeah. That was like 100% bug, and now the yeah. M10's gonna actually survive. It will bring you much dishonor. Esports guys. I mean, I, <laughs> I think Company of Heroes is the, the perfect title for an esport. Yeah. Uh, to quote Quinn Duffy himself. Would you agree that uh, Come to Heroes is just oh, ready? so much sport. machine. It's so ready at this point. Ah, uh, rip pack. He's not going to cap it, is he? That would be very bold of Von not. Ivan, so... Okay, so three VPs are currently being held by Von Ivan. This could be nice. 413 to 246. He almost nated himself. I like mm. the idea of the smoke to try and cover his retreat. 
Because then it, it made him unsure which way he was going to go. He was probably expecting him to retreat uh, this way. The Grens kept moving. So. Retreating up north. So that was a smart play. Um, what he did kind of baited the retreat path. So, entire maps here for Von Ivan. Third but, M10. Yep. Three M10s. He's, he's definitely waiting for a Panther, but now there's there's no fuel, so yeah. this Panther's going to be very delayed. Such limited fuel income here for, for DevM. He really needs to get just, even if it's just his fuel point back, and just try and hold that. He's got a few VPs to actually play with, and once the Panther comes out, I mean, against three M10s, it's a pretty decent amount of AT for Von Ivan, but the Panther still has a chance. It'll put Devon back into this game. So. Yeah, if he can all in the Panther, it'll it'll die pretty quickly. The, the rate of firing the Panther is, is pretty bad. It's, it, I mean, the main thing is the Panther has going for its armor. Hmm. Like, you just don't penetrate it reliably from the front, especially at long range. But if you can get in close, it's it doesn't have the DPS for it to, to fight well in close quarters, which is the opposite of an M10. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. My tank destroyer will, will force off your infantry. It's kind of like the same thing when, it, when a panther yeah. drives up to a Zisk gun and decrease it with its MGs. MG, yeah. Tank destroyers should not have anti-infantry. It's 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 quite silly. M10 ready for action. These demos are doing work for Von Ivan. Yeah, that, that's one thing to mention is that DevM has lost, I think, about four squads to these demos, and that's really putting him behind because... There actually isn't that many squads here for Von Ivan, and there's no upgrades on these riflemen either. No, there's not. He's just relying on M10s and demos. And he has access to bars. He's yeah, that's true. chosen not to get them in, in favor of getting more demos, if nothing else. Yeah. I wish the assault NG has got the kill count for demos. Be pretty great, wouldn't it? So, oh, do they? Although obviously they don't get veterans off, and that'd be pretty good as well. Well, actually, and this MG has been doing pretty well. Bear that one in mind. Oh. That. It's in so many nades though. How low is the actual Look the gun? It. Yeah. It's very, very low. Very low. Needs yeah, that, that needs that. to be repaired. Even his assault engineers can repair that. It'd be pretty it's pretty crucial to, re to repair your weapons. Do remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Smokes off the sniper. Yep, a good choice. Yeah. Let's him close in with it without it getting another shot off. Which can be pretty crucial. And this is when the, the pigrins shine, is, is when you have them defensively. But it, it wasn't quite uh, in position with them. Forcing the sniper away. Nade might can retreat as well. Fuelbone's gonna go down. Not looking good for DevM. Yeah, he's getting low on VP. He's only 125 and he's just basically had no fuel for a long time. So this Panther has been so delayed. May find another pack. The MG's completely smoked off, nading the pack as well. So this is really great Close rifleman up. play coming out of, of one Ivan. He smokes his grenades. Probably won't be able to get away with this pack though, as the Grens are moving in. Oh, smoke. another smoke! Ah, nah, oh, it's not enough. Okay, nice try. The smoke play has been pretty on point from Mon Ivan. Yeah. So. Enemy have 100 why, get, 100 points. why get bars when you can have smokes? Exactly. Uh, Von Ivan almost losing his squad there. But another demo. In a good spot as well. And he's, he's got three M10s. And if there's only one squad of Grins, it won't be enough for a Faust. Uh, that, that like, the, the snare change really made the M10s a lot stronger. Because normally one Faust would, would get the snare, but now you need two. So it's a pretty big commitment. And there's actually no Minesweepers on the field for, for DevM. So sooner or later, he's going to lose his vehicle crew. No, okay. He's going to lose this squad of this demo. But I like I how he's, he's capping at a kind of awkward angles, but he also has to bear in mind the retreat path. Um, can spell... So, so yeah, finally a Capantha. It's, it's 33 and a half minutes and he, he's gradually, yeah. eventually made his way. And on, he's going to be down to almost 50 VPs at that point by the time the Panther actually gets on the field. Doesn't have a lot of time to play with. That's a smart move. You can't see that squad. Yeah, he's going to get an ambush. Yeah. It's um, not even the ambush. It's about the cap as well. Like, look how low he is on VPs. Look how low DevM actually is on VPs. Von Ivan can just move that squad in when everything gets taken away and cap the VP or decap it. Alternatively, it's a yeah. smart play. His pigrin's are gonna get crushed, having to retreat. He's actually maybe forgotten. He's going for the cap. Forgotten about his NG. They're still here. They should at least be firing from the garrison, or, or just trying to clear them away. Spamming out the echelon, so probably gonna go for bars, or maybe just wants to just win on VPs with capping up the map, or both. Here's the panther. Yay! Love your work. And I don't go for the MG. Please. You have very low munitions. Needs it for the Fausts. Really has to save up at this point. Enough rifle nades. Needs enough munis for those Fausts. 
Going for the cap now. Good. Yeah, that was a Faust here. Okay. Maybe looking for another... Yeah, he's looking for the second Faust with the Panther, but in the end, uh, he, he couldn't avoid the crushes. If that actually was a second Faust, the Panther would have killed it. So that was, it was a nice try by DevM, but couldn't get there in time. And he's, he's parking the intent behind his head, so he probably doesn't even know where it is. You can hear the Panther. Oh, the Gren Squad with the follow-up. Enough uh, enough minis for that. Oh, uh, yeah, Faust. Yeah, that, that M10's gone. He's going to back into a bunch of wood stacks. Maybe try and juke behind the garrison. <laughs> he can't get in there. I tried that. He, he can't fit. Mango no. Destroy. That Panther's showing himself for what he is. The the alpha male. The, the bulk guy in the room. He's like the Blake of, of tanks. <laughs> well put, Machine. Well put. M10 gonna be going down there. So one less for one Ivan. It means he's gonna have to go for another one. Has a lot of fuel though. He can do that. It's fine. The Panthers are gonna struggle against this infantry though with no MG. I mean, maybe he would. Maybe one Ivan won't even bother building tanks. He has the Panther, but the anti-infantry isn't that significant. With only 30 VPs, he can just spam squads and hold the VPs. Yeah. And, and even right now, I mean, what can DevM actually do? He's got all three VPs. What are these old energies doing at the top? Is that juking by the building again? Ah, yeah. oh, <laughs> this is so. It's so dirty. Because it means DevM has to leave a squad up there. Almost getting a nade off on this um, MG, which yeah. would have blown it up. But I the think this is probably going to be a game. Snipe is decrewing it. 12 VPs left. Engineers are stalling this point. So, yeah, I think it's going to be GG here. Well, the, so, the, yeah, Devin finally gets the Panther out, but it's just a little bit too late to actually have any ooh, impact. Lost, lost his MG. Oh, okay. And it was destroyed. Yeah. Demo, just for swag points. Oh, please. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> has a crew. GG. GG, GG. Well played. So yeah, Von Ivan did a pretty good job there. Yeah, that was that was a very well played game for Von Ivan. But it does make me cry a little bit, seeing tank destroyers crush infantry. Crush infantry. <laughs> Force them off. Yeah. I hope they fix that. It should be fixed. Infantry should be really smart. They should just like lie down and just cross their arms over their chest as the, the tank tracks go over them. Private number. I think that's relaxed. Alright, well okay. thanks for watching. See you it's later. Been fun guys. Bye.